Hi there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be working with the Mama Elephant Botanic Hello stamp set. And I've had this sitting around for, gosh, a couple months and I can't believe it's taking me this long to get to it. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous design. But I was in the mood to do some watercoloring so I thought this would be a good choice. Here I am centering this stamp on some Strathmore cold press watercolor paper and I've trimmed that down to five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to do some embossing so I wanted to go ahead and treat my paper with some anti-static powder and now I'm going to use Versamark ink to get that stamped on there and I'm going to press really firmly to make sure that I'm getting all of those intricate lines stamped on the paper. And here I'm going to use some Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail Embossing Powder and this is their clear powder. I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun to melt that and then we can get started watercoloring. Now I couldn't find my watercolor board to tape this down to, but I happen to have an Arches uh, block left over from college actually, so I was able to tape it down to that. And if you haven't seen the blocks before, they actually have sort of a gum around all four sides so that you don't need a board. Um, and then when you're done, you just peel off the top paper and you're ready to go. Um, but I used some micropore tape and just taped this down to try and keep it from warping. I'm going to use my Kuretake watercolor palette and I'm mostly taking straight colors from the tubs and then just blending those out with some water. I did do a little bit of mixing but for the most part I was using um, just the colors that came from this palette. They're gorgeous. You really don't need to do much to them. Um, so this took me probably about an hour, hour and a half by the time it was finished. I did stop in a few sections and use my heat gun to sort of speed things along. Um, but basically I have just done layer after layer after layer of color and that's what allowed me to get the final effect. So I am going to turn up the music and you can watch me color or fast forward, whichever you prefer.
So once I was finished with the water coloring, I decided I wanted to add a yellow stripe at the bottom of my card just to make that yellow flower pop a little more since I only had one of those. And this is cardstock from uh, My Favorite Things. The color is called Lemon Drop. So I cut about an inch, inch and a half there and I'm just adding that to the bottom of an A2 size white card base. And then I decided to pop my panel up using some scotch foam tape. Here I'm checking my ink swatches to see what color would go best for the inside of the card. I decided to go with the Lawn Fawn Peachy Keen ink. And here I'm stamping one of the sentiments that came in the kit. It says, just a note to let you know you're awesome. And then it also came with sort of this curvy stitch line border. So I'm going to stamp that along the bottom. And then I did go ahead and also add that to the front of the envelope. I decided I wanted to add a little sparkle, so I'm using some Studio Katcha Crystal Fusion sequins and I'm attaching those with glue dots. And then I'll finish up by adding some glossy accents to the hello. So that completes our card for today. Close-ups of the card as well as a full list of supplies can be found at my blog post listed in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.